people. Um, uh, just to uh, quickly take you through what's currently going on in Arsenal. Um, Arsenal have inquired about uh, uh, one of the players that is playing for uh, La Bella. Um, the name of this player is uh, uh, Joe Casello. Uh, remember, Joe Casello is, is one of the players for Man City. And um, we heard from the, the Bible reports that Pep uh, Guardiola will not say no to Mikel Arteta uh, if Arsenal try to sign Joe Casello this summer. Uh, Casello's have completely shined uh, for Man City in the recent season, and we have asked him one of the key players for Guardiola in the first couple of months of this campaign, and. Um, we know that uh, that would be a very good surprise if uh, Portuguese international joined Bayern uh, Munich on the loans during the general, uh, general transfer windows. It was subsequently reported that Arsenal had a major fallout with Cabrera, but this was denied by players. Uh, and, uh, Joe Cassello is 29 years old and he has involved in eight goals in his 20 appearance for Bayern uh, Munich. And he has to remain to be seen whether he will remain in German throughout the end of the season. And we know that Arsenal want to strengthen their squad this summer and they have four shots of Man City in the race for the title. And they are said to be interested in Casello, who is valued around 60 million. Casello is under a contract uh, till 2027, so Man City. I uh, have no enough pressure to say it, but it has also been reported that he will not play for the club again. And uh, we also have a reliable source that Casello will see Arsenal make the move for him. I don't think uh, Gladiola is in the coach who will say no. We don't have to go there because he is a super superior. And we know that he thinks it is superior in every dynamic situation in football. Uh, I don't think he has put a negative situation uh, for him uh, to go, but I don't think that Guardiola wants to say no to Arsenal or Arteta because he's a big friend of Arteta. I don't think he sees a no. And it depends, first of all, on how many to have him and the family induced or not. It depends on whether they uh, uh, want to have him. Uh, their power is to get strike and so that they will not be the one to spend a lot of money to have Casero on their power and deals. And uh, we also saw there is also a reliable source that for if Arsenal can secure Casero's salary, Casero is a very one player. And he has demonstrated that in bad way. But I don't think that Arsenal are interested in Casero. Well, as I don't know him very well, and it depends on whether the programs as I want to have for his left or right back. But if you want to get Casino, it would be another fantastic move because it is a demonstration that they want to compete yeah, in a massive way, Man City again to win the premiership. So this is what is currently uh, happening in Arsenal sport. Uh, we also also have from the live source that Arsenal, we know, is also interested in the Clan Rice uh, based on the reports that we know. Uh, Arsenal have been fulfilling uh, uh, the Clan Rice uh, that came currently for Man uh, West Ham. Uh, we know that the current values for Rice is reported to be about 100 million. Now uh, we don't know whether that Arsenal will be able to put 100 million for a caliber of players uh, for who can rise. But Arsenal is interested in him. I think it's going to be a very bad in war. I'm not sure Arsenal are willing to pay 100 million. I thought they are open talks with West Ham to provide a potential uh, move. But uh, we have the reliable source that the opening of our table is 800 million. For England International, it beat West Ham to show it down. And it needs also open. Uh, that comes to the United States, that uh, uh, the most are playing into the hands of Western who want to spark the billion war for their top assets. And we also know that even every uh, hand of the United States, uh, United Man City, 
My wife to post her is next to the son of family. What is not going to be today? Rise and high still. And energy is to change. And Chelsea has also been telling me to rise because only the day in the quarter. Most of the widely hotter reason uh, for rise wanting to join the court is to join in at the old traffic. Um, it is impossible to write a bit of cancer gossip concerning lives. Uh, Chelsea is a neighboring over his great friendship with most um, mouth. Um, Ted Han is said to be a big admirer of the mouth and has convinced the United States and United United to make the 50, 55 million bid for him. And we also know that. Uh, uh, that fourth workshop of Chelsea 85 million valuations, as uh, Dan Ben says, it is awful. We have to pay on just one year on this current contract. And uh, it's going to be about 70 to 80 million, almost 80 million for one year contract left in the contract. But I think we get into a top team and it's not safe. Is the one for everything because it doesn't do it. I think it doesn't. I think the better price should be good. So, this is what is currently going on with uh, uh, Rise uh, Place for West uh, at the moment. So, and we also know that uh, Arsenal also interested in one of these young players that uh, play for Middlesbrough. Uh, Hayden Hartnett uh, being given more responsibility this season uh, on that uh, Michael Cara. Uh, Middlesbrough's Optus in front of a collaborator with youngster being introduced as a regular start. He has made 36 appearances and played over 2,960 minutes of football, and the 20 year olds have been attracted places of interest of his late. And the young side did recently pens a fresh deal with Middlesbrough until 2026. However, we have to consider offer this song. And uh, given their first shot against Coventry in the playoffs, Kara says he will be preparing for another year championship. The club are no longer receiving parachute payments, and so they will have to consider any size of offer that comes in. It is brought to have a solid track record when it comes to selling players to Premiership Club. This summer, they made over 20 million selling uh, Diapain and Marcos Tavenia, and uh, along with Robert uh, Akpon, Akpon is one of their prized as a 20 year old player with majority beyond his years. Look destined for Premiership B. They have scored three goals and have provided four and they have provided four assists, but those number doesn't do in justice. At least the tiny tiny players on the sport and they also in excellent part of possession. Uh, we also know that Liverpool are also interested in him and also Liverpool want to sell uh, uh Alex. Uh, Chamberlain, uh, maybe Kyle Keba. I think that's one of the priorities that they want to upload from their books. And the Argentina midfield has scored 10 big goals, which, um, which is more than any Liverpool midfielder have managed to see. Along with attacking midfield, you know, Prime is also keen to have the new players to the ground. That is why someone like Acme is in, in handy. Uh, Joe Henderson and Fabiolo haven't been at their best this season. Someone like Acme could be seen as a younger alternative. So Liverpool is also interested in these players. Arsenal is also looking at it. And we all know that Thomas Pate and Benny Shaka will be part this summer too. And they will be after some midfield to cover them in this summer. So this is what is currently going on in Arsenal's book. So hope you guys enjoy this and I will see you.